Hi guys, it's Ben here, and just as it looked like Liverpool were closing in on Naby Keita, their second bid has been rejected. However, this deal could still be alive. So Liverpool have had their second offer of £66 million for Naby Keita rejected. This goes against what a lot of the ITKs were saying on Twitter. This goes against widespread opinion really that this deal was about to get done. Obviously, Carlo Salakal has said that Leipzig now want to sell. Loads of conflicting reports everywhere. Who knows what to believe? Lots of you guys I know think this now isn't going to happen. No one's as confident as they were 48 hours ago. What happens from here? Well, Darren Lewis from The Mirror, who is currently in Hong Kong with the Asia Trophy, says that Liverpool are about to go back in with a £70 million bid. Leipzig owner Dietrich Mateschitz obviously went public with the fact that they rejected the second bid. He claimed that they don't just sell their players to get money. Well, Klopp seems to have laughed that off. He's not been pushed back by that, and Liverpool will seemingly still continue their pursuit of this player. Sporting director Michael Edwards is still in England, looking at these sort of deals, trying to get them done whilst the Reds play in Hong Kong but Leipzig still insists that Liverpool are wasting their time trying to sign Cater. Now the only disturbing line in Darren Lewis's piece is where he says that a decision will be made early next week as to Liverpool's next move. What I don't understand is why there's any uncertainty if we want this player we're willing to bid 66 million. Paul Joyce has previously said that we'll go up to 80 million euros which is 70 million pounds. I don't understand what needs to wait until next week. It's currently Wednesday why does it need to wait at least five days for us to make that next bid? I understand there's a lot of money, I understand a lot of thought needs to go into these mega deals, but if we're willing to bid 66 million, where does the line get drawn? Is 70 suddenly too much because it's an extra four million pounds? Surely if they want the player, it's pretty much common sense to go to 70 million. It's a very simple way of looking at things, that's just my view. Mataschitz is obviously very stubborn, he's the co-founder of Red Bull, he's worth billions. And he says there's no way this is going to happen. Conflicting reports coming from all angles every single day. We had the Carve Solicol stuff, which looked as though they were open to the idea of selling. There's been reports all week from all different parts of the media, whether it be social media ITKs, whether it be reports in Germany, England, Italy, wherever. Now the mirror. Anything could quite frankly happen. The bookies have now got it back to pretty much 50-50 as to whether he stays or goes. There's so much uncertainty around this. No one can have any confidence either way. Leipzig, you have to take them very seriously. They are going to be very stubborn on this. Does that 70 million pounds or 80 million euros bid change everything? Does that trigger something in which they're, they're satisfied, they feel like they've achieved the valuation of the player? Is that the valuation that they want for him? Liverpool need to get that £70 million bid in as soon as possible. I don't see why there's going to be a delay until next week. What is the delay for? This decision has been made. Jurgen Klopp wants this footballer. He's the player he thinks is going to transform his team. FSG have sanctioned a £66 million bid. This is after already sanctioning a £57 million bid. Are they really going to turn around and say, do you know what, Jurgen, you can't have this player because 70 million is too much, 66 isn't? Look, we don't know if Leipzig would even accept 70 million pounds. They may just say there's absolutely no way you're signing this player unless you go to 100 million. That might be their stance. You have to go to 70 million, you have to keep going. That's the valuation that's kind of always been in the press. And Leipzig will be mindful of the fact that Paul Joyce has said, I mean, this doesn't really help. The fact that Paul Joyce has said that Liverpool are willing to go up to 80 million euros. That's well known, that's well known across Europe. That's well known by Southampton in the Van Dijk saga as well. Everyone knows we've got this much money to spend. And if we don't get either Van Dijk or Cater in, I'm not saying that's gonna happen. A lot of you, I know, I know a lot of you are gonna be commenting on this video saying, forget Cater, forget Van Dijk, move on. We're, we're a joke. I know that's coming, but say that does happen. We're gonna have 150 million pounds in the kitty and everyone knows that. So Thomas Muller's been linked today. Bayern Munich know we've got 70, 80 million pounds. Look, there may, there may be nothing in that rumour, but they know we've got 70, 80 million pounds to spend on one player. If we miss out on Van Dijk, we go for Koulibaly, he's gonna be 55, 60 million pounds at this rate. We're very far along with Cater in terms of the player wants to move. Same with Van Dijk. That's part of the battle. There's a lot of clubs competing with these top players. You know, we had to beat off Man City, Chelsea and other clubs to get Van Dijk to want to come to Anfield. Naby Keita has been subject of interest from Man City too, even into Milan. These two players want to sign for Liverpool. We have to do all it takes to get them in now because to have to start again at the end of July, to have to start again with brand new targets. Although I'm sure they're already looking at other players, but the targets we know are their prime targets. The players we know Jurgen Klopp's identified as the ones that are going to improve this team. To have to completely 
go again when a lot of the players have already been snapped up. Michael Keane, okay, you may not think he's good enough for Liverpool, but Everton has spent £30 million pounds on him. Lindelof's gone to Man United. Rudiger's gone to Chelsea. A lot of teams are sorting their defences out. Benucci's gone to Milan. Liverpool might get left behind. We might have to settle for mediocrity if we don't just push to get this done as soon as possible. I know it's going to rumble on. I know these are massive, massive deals. They're not going to happen overnight. But if it's going to take us, if what Darren Lewis is saying is true and it's going to take us a week to decide whether to go in with an improved bid for Cater or what the next move is, then I just don't have that much confidence as I did. Do I think Van Dijk is going to happen? If you put a gun to my head, yes, I think it's more likely than not. Do I think Cater is going to happen? Look, I said a couple of days ago, I'm very confident and I have to stick by that, I do. I, the player wants to move, we've got the money. We've got 70 million pounds that we're willing to put, we should be willing to put down for this player. What can you do? What what, what can a fan do in this situation? It's, uh, this is hideous. This is, this is a horrible, horrible time. Look, people will be saying, keep calm, there's a long way to go. I'm, I'm, I'm calm. I, I'm not in crisis mode, but I'm just getting a bit fed up of being led so far down one direction and then down the other. Just want to know what's happening. I'm sure you guys are all the same. So, Naby Keita, bid rejected. New bid coming in, apparently next week is when the decision will be made, according to Darren Lewis. He's not a Merseyside reporter, so, you know, he may not know as well as some others, but that's what he's saying. He's in Hong Kong. He's on the scene. What do you believe? What do you believe in this situation? There was some rumours going around social media today that Keita's agent has flown to Hong Kong to look to finalise the deal. I don't know how that's happening without a bid being accepted. We've been there before earlier this summer, and there's also been some tweets going out that Van Dyke has told South London that he wants to leave. Well, I could have told South London that he wants to leave. Is it a transfer request? Officially, I don't know. We know both players want the move. We know Liverpool have got good money, over the odds money, probably, but both deals are still in the balance somehow. Somehow, we just don't know, still. Leave a comment with where you stand on this. Do you think Naby Keita is a dead deal now? Do you think we should move on? Do you think there's still any hope for Van Dyke? How are you feeling? And yeah, please subscribe to my channel, guys, for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like for me, share this video, ask your mates what they think about all this, and follow my other socials. We'll be keeping up to date all across Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook on Ben Mice here, all of those. And I'll see you next time with hopefully some better news.